So how do we get started protecting a house like this? You want to take a lightning strike and disperse it into the earth. What you do is you install lightning rod on the roof, lightning protection cables, down to a grounding system. So show us some of those pieces. Um, this is a 24 inch lightning rod, or called an air terminal. Solid so, copper? Yes, and it can be spaced at 25 feet. We took a look at this and decided that it was too tall, aesthetically wise. Would be better off with a 12 inch. What do you think, Ben? I like the smaller one. But spacing on that's a little tighter, it's at 20 feet. Now, on Ben's house, we took a look at if he had um, dormers and things, uh, gas line, it's electric, and you design a system around that. In his case, he didn't have that, so he gets five lightning rods on the ridge right there. So it's off to the roof? Actually, no, we're going to go to the attic. Huh. Right now, we're running the ridge cable, which connects the lightning rods on the roof to the grounding. Wouldn't it be easier to just run the cables on the roof? Yes, it would. But eventually, when they replace the roof, it would be a lot better to have the cables ran on the inside. We'll drill a half inch hole through the ridge and install a through roof assembly. It's really important the ridge cable is securely fastened to the base plate. We'll cut the thread rod to the proper length. Seal it with roofing cement. Install a nut in the washer. And the lightning rod just screws on top. So we've got five lightning rods up on the roof and they're connected by cable that runs all the way down and ties into this cable. And this is one of three down leads on this house that will be securely connected to a ground rod. Now I know that this soil is sandy and that's not a good conductor of electricity. So what do we do about that? Well normally we'd, we'd put a 10 foot ground rod in, but because of the soil conditions we're going to put 20 foot. We'll couple the two 10 foot together and drive them into the ground. That I have to see. Boy, that looks like it goes in pretty easy. Well, a hammer drill in combination with sandy soil makes short work of it. We'll use a coupling to attach the two 10-foot ground rods together. Now with the new lightning rods installed on my roof, will I see more lightning? No, lightning rods don't attract or repel lightning. What they do is if lightning is going to hit your house, it just safely dissipates it into earth. Now we've taken care of your house if it has a direct lightning strike, but what we haven't talked about is an indirect lightning where it hits close by and would travel as a power surge all the way up through and into your house and damage equipment like it did before. So we've installed a whole home surge protector to protect your house from electric surge, and you can tell it's working by the green light. We've also installed surge protection on our cable TV lines and your telephone lines. Great. Guys, well, I hope I don't have a direct lightning strike, but I sure feel a lot better knowing the system is in place. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.